get out of my freaking way. Hey, what's going on, people? Your boy, man, Mike, coming at you guys with a quick film breakdown. This is just going to be really quick to kind of give you guys a couple of plays on why I believe Quadri Olison, you know, um, where, he, where he can do it. I think he can be a really good back for the Atlanta Falcons, at least a rotational guy um, to kind of help get in his groove. You're going to be under a new regime with your boy uh, Arthur Smith calling the plays. And look, man, this first play that I have for Quadri Olison, uh, I, I think this is just showcases um, what he, his strengths. I think this is something... Um, when you look at Quasio Olison, man, I, I think he's going to be very good um, in this aspect, in this um, this aspect of the Atlanta Falcons offense. So check it out. I think this really just showcases not only his 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 feet. It actually reminds me of Michael Turner looking in the backfield. Look, that right there is just good feet. Just that right there is just good feet. All right, get good push from the guys on the inside. Um, with Chris Lindstrom, uh, Alex Mack, of course, but they do a very good job of opening the hole. Uh, they double team him. Oh my God! Look at that freaking pancake! Jesus Christ! They just really Chris Lindstrom just really just put that dude on his ass. Wow! That right there is just amazing. A lot of people, you know, say that Chris Lindstrom, these guys, um, but they pretty look, look. Look at this. Good God! Chris Lindstrom is an absolute beast. That dude is an absolute beast. We're going to see it from another angle, but good God, Chris freaking Lindstrom. Look how he's just manhandled. We're talking about, is that Indomitian Sue? Oh my God, no, that's not Indomitian Sue, but good gracious. That right there just showcases great offensive line play, but this is what Quadri Olderson can do. You open up the hole, he's going to get good feet, good feet, cut back, but it's just a power back, all right? Just a power move. All right, let's go to the next one. Um, again, we're going to give you about three plays or so. Uh, good graces. Goes in motion. Quality Olsen hands it off. Look, this is just, oh, Jesus Christ. I, I just have, oh, my God. This is just beautiful football for me. This right here is just beautiful football. This is what Quality Olsen can bring to this Atlanta Falcons offensive line. They go back to just, you know, establishing the run using this, the, the, you know, the inside guys, Chris Lindstrom. Uh, Matt Hennessy is going to be a guy that we see in that role um, if he continues uh, to improve or, you know, Arthur Smith feels as though he is the guy. All right. Uh, him and Chris Lindstrom is going to be the guys in the middle to kind of help Carl Jordan. But this right here, is just, this is beautiful. This right here is what the Falcons have been missing for a long time. This is just a beautiful run. Open the hole, gets to the second level. Like this is this is great offensive line play. This is great offensive line play. We haven't seen this in such a long time. Great offensive line play. Get to the next level. Put a hat on a hat. Good God. That was great. That was absolutely great. That was Wes Schweitzer. Uh, he's no longer with the team. That's great offensive line play. You got Chris Lindstrom, Alex Mack, and Wes Schweitzer. But this is what you can get from Quadri Olison. When you improve, not only you got Jake Matthews, but you improve that left guard position. Um, James Carpet is no longer there. Uh, Alex Mack will no longer be there. But Chris Lindstrom is going to be a guy that he's going to. All right, He's definitely going to um, make some progress um, in being a Pro Bowl player. Um, a guard in this league. I really believe that. The, the dude is just absolutely physical. We're going to get right back to it. Good double team. Knocks him down. And Quadri Olison just, he goes into it. All right, we're going to see one more freaking play. Um, again, I, I think this is just excellent. But he sends Luke Stalker in motion. Bam. Oh, he failed on that. But, again, man, um, Let's see. We'll probably give one more play since this play wasn't exactly. But this is uh, that great. What he should have done on there. It's, what he should have done. Um, instead of going to the outside. A lot of rookies. They don't trust what they see. 
on the outside a lot, on the inside. So what they try to do is bounce it out. And a lot of times, um, especially in a, this is not a zone run, uh, run concept here. Um, he will learn this. He will just learn to just take the couple of yards that he has. Don't try to bounce it outside. Um, especially you got Julio Jones right there. He should have just kept it in, kept it up, and got at least a couple of yards. And right here, he loses his footing, and instead of just getting a couple of yards, he loses yards. But, again, he's going to learn. He's a rookie. He's uh, actually in his second year, going to be in third year, but you kind of get the idea. But All right, I'll give you one more freaking play from him. I just like what Quasi Olsen can, can bring. That's the physicality, man. We haven't seen this physicality from this team in a long time. Got to have better offensive line play up front. All right, right here, Chris Lindstrom, uh, Alex Mack, he's worried about getting to the, sec the second level. You're going to have a, a crack back with the receiver here. And um, I don't really like this play because, for, for one, that's a receiver on a crack back. I would much rather have a tackle, a tight end on a crack bag going against a defensive lineman. I just don't like that play. I don't, it's not a uh, a good play design. You got Stalker. You have Austin Hooper here. I look again. Unless this receiver here is Julio Jones or a Muhammad Sanu type play, I don't like that. I don't like this play. But again, man, um, it's it's a pretty good it's a, a pretty good play. Um, just don't like that. Um, I just don't like the, the idea of having a receiver that small. All right, we're going to see this going against this physical. Oh, my God. This is the physicality that I'm talking about from Quasi. Like, we need this physicality from this guy. The Falcons need We're going to see it from the other angle, but this is absolutely beautiful what the Atlanta Falcons are doing. Like, this is, again, man, you got Caleb McGarry. You got Chris Lindstrom. Wes Weiser and Jake Matthews right here. Obviously, you have uh, Alex Mack. But this right here is physical football. This is a physical run from a physical running back, and this is what the Atlanta Falcons need to get back. We need to get back to punching guys in the face. This is just absolute power. power. Oh, my God. Look at that block by Chris. Chris Lindstrom is, oh, my Jesus. I don't know how many times in this video I've just said, oh, my God, about Chris Lindstrom. He's just so powerful, so quick. He sees and he just gets to the next level with absolutely little hesitation. Oh, my God. This is absolutely beautiful. Bam. Get to the next level. Get your ass out of the way. Oh, my God. That right there is just great old line play. <laughs> That's great old line play right there, man. Let's see it again. Bam! Look at, oh my God. Whew! That right there is just absolute brute shrimp. I'm just so excited. All right, one more time. <laughs> one more time. You can see Caleb McGarry, Chris Lindstrom. These guys are physical, man. The Falcons need to get back to doing this a lot more often. But this is absolutely beautiful. This is a beautiful run by Cordy Olison. Good vision, good power. Get out of my freaking way. So, Atlanta Falcons fans, this is what. I'm excited about. I want to know what you guys think about this, man. Continue to support your boy here, Matt Mike Sports, man, Atlanta Falcons Nation. Wow. This is what Quadri Olison, this is what Chris Lindstrom, this is what Caleb McGeary and this offensive line can do. When you commit to the run, you have the off the defensive line afraid. All right. You make these guys think twice about rushing towards you by sending blitz blitzes you send a guy to a blitz against the run man i'm telling you you knock these guys out with the big physical offense alignment they are not backing up because offense alignment are not accustomed to going backwards these guys want to go forward all right these guys want to go forward they want to hit you in the mouth this is what the Atlanta Falcons the dimension of the Atlanta Falcons they have been missing for far too long they got to get back to running that physical brand of football, all right? No if, ands, or but. This is the reason why the Falcons brought in Arthur Smith. This is the reason why the Atlanta Falcons got rid of Thomas Dimitrov and Dan Quinn. They don't run a 
physical brand of football. Physical brand of football wins game, especially in the playoffs. All right, so let me know what you guys think about this, man. I am absolutely excited. I'm ecstatic of what this could possibly mean for the Atlanta Falcons. Leave your comments below. Your boy, man, Mike is out, man. Peace.